Hi everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So if you've been following us along, one of the last shorts that we put up was about using this car as a truck. We had to haul some uh, 16 foot boards and it's very easy to do it. And the reason that we do it is because the truck beds are eight feet. With the seat out in the car, we're able to put a 16 foot board in on the dash. We brought our garage doors home that way. Um, anything long, 14, 12, it's worked out really good. But for small loads, like taking a small delivery of hay, I can fit seven bales of hay in this car, and we have decided we've got this nice little trailer that we built a year or two ago. It'd be real great to have that for little local deliveries. So we bought a hitch. We've been watching for them. We found one for $100, went and picked it up. It's an exact fit for this car, and I'm going to show you a video of us putting it on, how to put on your own hitch. Now, there's places that could do it for us. The price of just the hitch alone was roughly $300 before installation. We picked up the hitch for a hundred, cash out the door, he can do this. So the car thinks it's a truck and it can um, have a 3,500 pound hitch. I was able to pick this up, it is by draw tight. Um, this has been sitting on this guy's shelf since 2008, the hardware set said. Um, the car is an 05, so at this point, a lot of people already aren't driving these and I couldn't find one um, years ago like sitting in a junkyard with a hitch. It works really great. We have a hitch mounted bike rack. We have the little trailer hitches. I have already two removable uh, tongue ball and for a pin hitch so that we can hook up little trailers here around the farm. A little ball hitch for the other trailers and you can just take this out um, entirely to put the bike rack into this receiver. I think it was one and a quarter. So this is what we've got. And with modifications that are not too hard, we're gonna hook it up. And by modifications, I will tell you, see right here, you've got these nice little accesses. This has an actual frame on this car instead of a subframe. Um, the wrenches won't fit in these holes that they have provided for mounting a hitch. So he's going to I have to cut some of that out to get the wrench in there to access that. Uh, it takes two carriage bolts and a regular bolt, flange nuts, and mounting plates. So this is everything here for hardware all laid out. Um, and this is a basic diagram of how it's going to go in. So with a half inch drill, in the Milwaukee, a three quarter and a seven eighths inch wrench. And he's got a zip cutter for metal um, that will be able to do that access. It's gonna be a little harder around this muffler because that frame and mounting is right up in there just past that mounting uh, bracket for the muffler. So he took the bracket right off here so that we could uh, re-drill this out to a half inch for the mounting bracket for the first bolt to be able to have that ball um, right about here. Otherwise it would be tucked in and with like the bike rack or the ball hitch, it would not work because any trailer or anything that you'd be hooking up to, you'd be hitting your bumper, which would not be good. So looking around in here, we realize um, we've got these rubber bushings here and I've looked them up. I don't know what they're called. If you know what they are, leave me a comment down below but I punched in rear sway bar bushings. Nothing was coming up. I punched in suspension uh, subframe bushings and the pictures were not looking the same. Those need to be replaced. I'm sure that uh, that rubber is just gone. So the same hole for the bracket is on the other frame rail. So we drilled that out and drilled the hole through the bracket itself. That's going to be our first hole. And then the second one is going to be uh, eight inches on center. So we're going to be somewhere up in here. And he wanted to show you that the flange nut that they gave is pinched. Do you have that? So it's not just a regular flange nut. That little bit right there. So it's kind of cone shaped. That's how with the, the pinch. That's how they do the lock the correct way instead of putting nylon in the middle because anytime you have heat 
where the threads are nylon in order to pinch then heat destroys them and they're not locked at all okay so that's a that's a half inch fine thread locking knot and you say that's because all the weights on those all the weight of your hitch is on your back two bolts and the front two bolts is to keep it all in there but you're actually pushing up okay. you're lifting on the front so they just give you normal grade five say this is grade eight with fine thread and locking flange knot too and the the front so they don't give you as good a hardware because um you're not putting any weight down it, okay it, it just goes like that holding it and keeping it from twisting yeah you can't do it with two so okay yeah so grade eight and then the regular So if this has been sitting on their shelf for 10 or 15 years, um, they just wanted to clearance it out and get rid of it. And I think a uh, accessory shop basically is what it was. They were trying to sell truck rims and, you know, chrome package things. And they were getting out of hitches. So we got uh, the last one in the store kind of situation. And you know what they say, cash is king. They just wanted it out of there. So for the first bolt right here, you can go through the end with your wrench without having to do any modifications to the framework. So it is all sitting in there. So now you just measure your eight inch. No, now I'm gonna put the well, I'm gonna put the thing up and make a mark. Okay. Because I don't know if it's a little bit like this, see? Right. So I, I want to have it up here. Okay. So now I need a hitch. So here we've got it up in place. We still have to drill the second set of holes. And to be able to access that right there. But we got to have it bolted up so that we could mark that hole. bolt that on and remount the muffler bracket. Oh yeah, that hole's outside further. Those other holes are over in here. Uh -huh. So you wouldn't want to guess because like I said, it's not straight up from this, it's out. Yeah. Kind of on an angle. Oh no, how are we going to drill this one with the muffler? That's what I wondered. You wondered it as soon as I said it. No, I wondered it before because <laughs> of the, mu <laughs> the muffler. <laughs> No, I can show you my filming. No, like, no you're from just the very it beginning. <laughs> I can show where the shadows are to show in the driveway to show that you're lying and you're editing. <laughs> the time was you reversed the times. He's a clown, <laughs> liar, all lies. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this. <laughs> He said it doesn't hold it very good. It pinches right down on the bolt. But... So then when it falls off inevitably, uh -huh. it's up in the frame where I can't get it back out. <laughs> Such confidence. A clown show. So you're going to put it in through the end? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. I can't believe it. <laughs> you made it. First try. <laughs> Yay. Oh, yeah. Great kit. <laughs> Is it going to let go without bending the things? No, it's fine. It's the K 
carriage bowl that's in a square. Uh-huh. So you don't have to put a wrench on it. No. Is the little grabber thing going to let go? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hardly on there. I just I can't believe it even worked. See, the bolt will not turn. Uh-huh. So you just... Yeah. See? Uh-huh. The other side? <laughs> I don't know. Usually if one goes good, the rest well, of it the doesn't. No, the muffler's in the way, and I don't know what to do about it. Yeah. There's no place to take the muffler off. Yep. I don't really and you know. can't go in from the trunk because you're going into the frame, not um, into yeah, the body. Actually, you could. Well, but then you've got a hole. Yeah, then I just weld the weld the panel back in. I don't I don't know about that. Okay, where are you guy? You have to use your fingers in the side holes. Can't get this, use the side holes because of this panel. I can. Maybe. Now I gotta get the parts knocked out. So, through some master trickery, we were able to get that in there. And the muffler, of course, was in the way the whole way, and there was no other way other than me grabbing a hold of it and pushing it or pulling it. Okay, I'll use the breaker bar. We don't have to get the muffler out of the way. Okay. And then we'll put the muffler back up and it'll be beautiful. And the trailer's sitting right down in the lowest, wettest spot today, isn't it? So this bracket here for the uh, exhaust for the muffler was a little tricky. We had to cut it off blunt. It stuck out this way, oh, another two to three inches. Um, it was shaped like that. So if you need to back that up to see that, we just zip that off um, with the angle grinder with the cutting blade and got it on. So this is the new hitch. And now I can use my car a little less like a truck uh, and haul some nice loads. So we're off to go work on our next project, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.